5.2b, area, volume, and temperature, area of triangles. The area of a triangle can be defined as area equals one half base times height. This means we must identify the base and height. Just as with the parallelogram, the height must be meet the base at a perfect right angle or 90 degree angle. This means that the height must be located right here. If I made a height anywhere else in the triangle, it would not make sense. Here we see that there is a right angle. Sometimes it is helpful to remember that when it meets and you draw the right angle, it looks somewhat like an H. This will help remind you that this is the height. The base, therefore, goes all along the bottom. It's important to also note that triangles will not always be labeled or lying perfectly so that their base is on the bottom. You must identify where the base and the height meet at a perfect right angle. Example one asks us to find the area. This triangle happens to be a right triangle in which one side also happens to be the height, as you can see, because it meets at a right angle with the base. We therefore need to use the formula area equals one half base times height. Therefore, we'll, we will have area equals one half times the base, which is eight feet, times the height, which is five feet. It is sometimes helpful to leave the one half or any fractional portion of a formula until the end. We therefore have one half times 40 feet squared. We now can see that we could do 40 feet squared times one half or, in other words, divide it by two. This means that our area is 20 feet squared. In example two, we are once again finding the area of a triangle. In this case, all sides have been labeled as well as the height. It is then important to remember how we define where the base is. We know that the base and the height meet at a 90 degree angle. The only place this is occurring is right here. This means that the 4.3 must be the height and the 6 must be the base. We can now use the formula area equals 1 half base times height. This means we have area equals 1 half, the base being 6 meters, times the height, which is 4.3 meters. We will now need to multiply these two together, leaving the fraction till the end. This means we will get 25.8 meters squared. We now divide this by two, and this will result in 12.9 meters squared. Remember that when solving for the area of a triangle, you are using the formula one-half base times height. Also remember, you must identify which side is the base, and that that side is perpendicular or at a right angle to the height. 